Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and today we are painting this beautiful boho cow, and I just love her, she's so sweet, and I'm just really in a cow painting kind of mood lately, so I just feel like I paint cows just about every day. You can see them behind me, they're everywhere. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this, I have made her very easy and fun for y'all with a traceable, so I want to give y'all the color visual first, and we will be doing this in studio with a 16 by 20 size. And then let me show you the traceable. Okay, so I this was my initial trace here. And with our kit, we have all of your supplies. That's at tipsyartist.com. So you can find everything that you need. And it has the transfer paper, uh, the line art here, and then also the candle. So this is a nine by 12 canvas panel. Let's see, let's bring that in. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to switch to an aerial view to kind of go over a little bit more of the details of how I did this, but just know that it does come with this and it makes it very, very easy for y'all. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and switch over to this here. We're in our beautiful studio summer today, so it's very peaceful in here. And let me go ahead and switch camera views. There we go. Okay. Right, you can kind of see that sun coming in. If I have to get up and close a curtain, I will do that. That's, that could get a little... Hmm. Boy, I may have to... I really may have to do that now. <laughs> let me, uh, because that's going to dance around on that canvas and be kind of crazy there in a minute. Boy, that just started, just as soon as I put it on. I think I just closed all the wrong curtains. <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, well, we have a lot of windows, which is great. It's great for natural light. But, uh, okay, there, that's better. I'm sad to see my sunshine go away, but y'all can see a lot better. Okay, so here we go. All right, sorry about the delay on that. I'll have to make a little time stamp thing on the video. Okay, so we have all these supplies that come with the kit here, and you'll have a brand new, let me show you what they look like. So a little bag of goodies here with your brushes and your brand new paint. So it will look like that. And then I'm using a slightly used uh, group of paint over here, and then I've got a little bit of a head start with my paint and my paint plates, and then coarse water, brushes, napkins, your permanent marker, pencil, and let's see. Okay, so let's talk about this trace here. All right, so first things first, you want to make sure that you only tape up at the top. You're going to leave your sides nice and free so that they can... Um, you can check your work as you go. There's a lot of tracing on this. And so I tape the transfer paper down first, just center it in the board. And then with the line art here, you wanna make sure that it is leveled up. Bottom of the line art will level up with the bottom of the canvas panel here. It's totally fine to have extra room up here at the top, but to make it easier on you, you wanna make sure this line just goes right and you know just comes level here to that edge. And then let's talk about how to do the trace. So there's a little bit of a complexity with this in terms of um, it's not just line art, like a cartoon feel. There's going to be a little bit of some shading that I think will really help you stay on track during this process too. So initially what you're going to do is you'll start with your pencil here and every place that there is a line, you're going to just hard press over that line. That pressure will transfer that line 
to your canvas panel here. Um, also, like here on the edges, the edge of the paper only goes this far. There's a little bit of a distance. You'll have to continue the horn all the way up and off the edge. Beautiful. That's really about the only freehanding you're going to have to do. <laughs> so everything else is there for you. And all right, so let's talk about shading. So, you know, you want to do all your line work first. Exactly. Anytime you see a line, you're going to press over it. A lot of details. So, of course, you do want to check, make sure you get it all. And then where there is shading, um, a lot of times what I'll use, I'll turn my pencil over to the side and I'll just kind of brush on the side of the brush like this, applying pressure. But that same soft stroke that you're able to create with the pencil on this side for that little bit of shading, just to kind of help you remember where some of those strokes should go. That will also replicate that same lighter motion and feel to the transfer on the canvas panel. So hard line, you know, with a more distinctive line is holding it just, you know, like this and making that hard thin line. And then when you want to do more of this like sketchy feeling, basically you copy exactly what I do. So you just turn that pencil over to the side like this. And then it's going to transfer all that here. And you want to be really careful. Don't miss anything. Take advantage of what I prepared for you. The nuance of the nose. I did all of that special nuance with the shading here and the lines. So that really helps you before you start to paint. So you'll have that in place. It's really nice guy, that way you don't get off track. And then when you lift up, we can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now. Can I have another? No, we're good, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and place that here. This can actually just go in the trash. Some people like to save it and reuse it, but a little helpful hint on that. Um, you can reuse transfer paper. You just have to turn it to a different side. So you can't put it, you can't use it the exact same way. So but you can get a few uses out of it. All right. So let's see. I'm so excited. Okay. So let's talk about our brushes here really quick. We have our uh, mama brush. And then we have our little buddy brush, and then we have our little bit brush. And your brushes will be brand new, mine are very left. And of course, the, the water is the only thing you have to actually go and get somewhere. Like everything else comes in the kit, but the water you will have to make sure and get a nice, you know, get a stable bucket or some sort of cup that will stay. Uh, you don't want, a, for example, some of those cups are tiny at the bottom and bigger. They're kind of wobbly. Make sure you get something stable, fill that full of water, and then we're all set here. I have a little bit of a head start with some extra titanium white and Mars black just because I tend to use that a lot. So I always start the class with a little bit of extra there. And then when you go to open a brand new paint, let's take a look and see if any of these are new. Nope. <laughs> Hold on. Is this one here? Oh, yes. Okay. So when you go to open a new paint bottle, you're going to see this silver foil line. You're going to have to lift up that little tab and then pull, and then that will, you're going you're gonna to take this off completely, and then your paint will flow through the top of that. And acrylic paint does set up and dry pretty quickly, so you do want to make sure and recap after every single use. This will help preserve your paint and keep it fresh. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We're going to do all the background first. So I'm going to go ahead and use some primary cyan blue. Right. Okay. And a nickel size dollop there. And we have our white already, titanium white, and our Mars black. So we have a good start on those. So again, Mars black and titanium white. All right. So your brush will be new. So let's go ahead and with a new brush, you're going to place it into the water just a little bit. Get it nice and moist, and then we're going to dab out that excess water. Now it's nice and flexible. 
And I'm going to go ahead and take mama. I'm going to pick up a nice big dollop of the white. And then I'm going to pick up just like a little corner touch here of the blue. We're going to work that in. This will create a really nice light blue. And then to have like a slate quality to this, you can go ahead and just barely touch into the black. That's a very tiny, tiny touch. Very overpowering in there. So you have to be careful with that. We just want a little bit of that. All right, so now we have some slate blue that we can play with too. And then we'll continue to kind of dab into the white and play with that. Hold on, so I'm going to place this off to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of crisscross in this blue. And I'm going to make a little bit more of just the light blue. I need more of that to work with here. I'll crisscross that in, keep it light. And I'll touch into a little bit of that slate blue that we mixed up. And the stroke again, it kind of feels like you make the little letter X over and over and over again. And when we have to do our cut in here, I'm gonna go ahead and hold the brush a little bit more like you hold a pencil. This will give you that thin line edge side of the brush. And then so you can use that to go right around the edge. And add a little bit of water to this too as you go. Helps make the paint a little bit more fluid. Help it, it will help it flow into the pores of the canvas. I'm going to cut in around these flowers. And a little bit of water, still adding in with that light blue. And we're just going to work this in around these little flowers here. Okay, we're going to add in some of these really tiny spots, too. We can go ahead and switch over to our little bit brush, our little buddy. I'm going to go ahead and do a little touch here with a little bit. In and around the flowers here. Add a little bit of white with that light blue. And make sure we get good coverage in there. That's out. You always want to make sure you get to wash your brushes very quickly or at least let them set in the water until you do. Because the acrylic paint can set up and dry on your brush very quickly. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of softly touch into that little tiny cutting work that we just did. And just kind of X back and forth out of it to softly blend it into the rest of the space. I'm going to grab a little bit more white. Pull that in. I'm going to rinse out a little bit here, filling the white out quite a bit. And I'm going to grab a nice big dollop of the white and then a little tiny touch of the black. We're going to make some light gray. A bit more white. 
light, light gray over here. Oops, sorry, move that forward. So white, light gray, a lot of white, little tiny touch of homage black. And I'm gonna start to do large sweeping strokes of this cloud cover that's gonna come in here. Sweep that in. So initially, just making some pretty big diagonal strokes. And then we'll start hitting this with that palette knife later too to give it another nice area of texture over the top. But we're gonna work in the brushwork first. Speaking of oh, Oops, I forgot to get that off earlier. Well, that is included with your kit here today, too. Oh, nice. But I use that at the very end. All right, so you go ahead and softly push in this layer of white and gray here. Just going to cross that back and forth, bring some nice texture. Big sweeping strokes using the side of the brush. Oh, let me touch of this. Cobalt blue, or sorry, primary side of blue. Sometimes I use different paints and I did the classic. Mm. Soft, I can turn this brush handle parallel to the canvas. Just cross back. Stop with that layer. Beautiful. And I'm going to continue to work in this gorgeous light blue underneath the corner blue. And the primary cyan blue. Work with the water, work that in just underneath that furry ear there. More water, and I'm just going to sweep this at the top here into a softer look. And you know what? Oh my gosh, I forgot to do the bottom part of the horn. See how I was telling you don't lift off until you know you're good? Well, oops. There's that bottom line of my horn here. I can do this. Okay, there's my light blue. Put white in there. Oh, she's gorgeous. Water. Put that 
flows into the pores of the canvas, the white primary side linear, and the brush over to the side. Okay. Wow. Another new. Okay. Oh, really nice. Bring this out. Well, here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do some, I'm gonna mix up some brown. All right, so we'll, we will need our cadmium orange. We already have some of our Mars black. Okay, and then we will mix up our little bit of Mars black here with our Having orange, and when you start to mix those two together, they make brown. You can see how it's starting to match the plate. Have the brown plate. And the more black you add, the darker that brown becomes. If you get too dark, well, of course, you can lighten up with a little more orange, or you can also add a little bit of white to it and see how that's also creating a, a lighter brown too. And something else you can add to kind of warm it up a little bit is some primary yellow. Kind of warms it up in a different way. You can add a little touch of that to it. So now we're going to add a little water to this, and we're going to make this light. Oops, there you go, tipsy. <laughs> Put your fingers in the plate, why don't you? All right, so I'm going to make some of this light, add a little bit more white to this. I'm going to work this in. And then here at the base. I've got some shading that I'm going to have to start paying attention to up here, so I have to be careful to come around. Gather some more water here. Helps it flow into the space here. Right, a little bit more yellow. a little bit of water here. Do some careful cutting work around this little flower. We can touch, we're gonna do the flower later where, where the colors will really pop out over the top again. And my cut in doesn't have to be super precise there. But you do wanna make sure that you've got a little bit of water into the paint for some transparency. Let me go ahead and pull this up a little bit so you can see that line work will bleed through a little bit and you'll still be able to see where your flower is.
And I've got a little one like yellow, and I can match, and that brown, yeah. and some of this color over the ears here. Grab some warning. I just have just a nice translucent wash. Still see my little flower peeking through there. I use that. Just giving a nice first foundation color over the top. As you're coming in over these ears, you're going to do what feels like little parentheses, parentheses, soft curve. Now let a little bit of that hair kind of come off the edge. Look back with a white hand. I'm also going to bring in a little bit more of that white, that yellow. And that's more brown. And every time you do like little sections of hair, it's kind of, it almost feels like little tiny dashes. Touching down onto the canvas and then lift off with our eye pain. Now we want to go a little bit darker when we're starting to come in with our shadows. So I'm going to squeegee out some of that extra paint. And then we're going to come in with more of the brown that we mix up. I'm going to go ahead and lighten up a little bit here. And I'm going to add a touch of primary magenta to that brown that we mixed up. I'm just going to get a tiny touch of that. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my little buddy brush here. And I'm going to have a touch of that primary magenta in the blue brown. It's a little bit of a pink hue to it. And we want to make sure that we're going to follow this little bit of hair and shading that comes around the face. This is a little bit darker, but lines it here. This is our brown and our primary magenta. And see that we have that little line there, and I pay attention to that. A little bit of water to help that paint just kind of flow in there a little bit more. The bar shadow is still intact here. We're going to go in with a little bit more of that darker brown and primary magenta. We're going to come right up underneath here. All right, oopsie. You got a little bit of water on my little bit brush. Touch down into that. And then you can grab your paper towel and just go like that, and it'll lift it right off. That's kind of handy to know anyway. Now we're going to pull down a little tiny short little hair strokes. Again, we're working with that dark brown and the primary magenta.
Maybe we can a little bit of shadow there. And a little bit more glass starts to enter into this here for shadow. And then the chin here. And then the nose. Any little short strokes. The repetition. This brown, darker brown. And alternate. Where the hair goes a little bit, you can go little soft curls this way, little soft curls this way. And again, that feel is like a little parentheses or this way. You change directions a little bit. All right, so we're just building those layers here, working in some of this shadow. Water. A little bit more of this black kind of pushed in here. Again, it's going to look still pretty raw at this point. Very unfinished looking. That is normal. A little bit of some this dark brown again, and I've got a little bit of black. And we're going to start echoing the same shape as the ear here. Soft curves, we're going to bring in some of this shadow over the top. Same thing here. My little puppy dog looks a little bit the same way. Let's see, let's get that one this one. Well, she had to get the job on the day one of the day. I'm going to take a break now and kind of switch my energy to the eyes here a little bit. And add a little bit of water to the black, so to work that in. And as you get a nice fine point, we're going to do a little twist here into the paint, a little bit of water. And we're going to start to work this over the top. Now, one other thing I will share with you is with the permanent marker that you have in your kit. You can also do this to help. You can just go ahead, follow the line mark here. There's that little flash point here. Sometimes it's easier for people to do this with the permanent marker. So that's certainly an option here. So I'll show you what that looks like. You don't want your marker to touch wet paint though, so I'm gonna have to that little section. And 
And other areas you can use this with too. I got this eye is looking weird because I'm not feeling in that glass. I'm gonna fix that just real quick. So we're gonna get kicked out by that eye. And we'll reinforce our flashpoints here in a little bit. You can also work in your little dark areas of the nose. She wants to go potty, and my husband's doing concrete work out in the yard. If she can't, it's like, why? I need to go poo. <laughs> I'm going to have to text my husband and tell him that he needs to let our dog out. He's getting all kinds of fun little information about us today. Um, I don't know. That's too fun. I'm saying also, I'm because he's going to be like, okay, nice. I am filming. Okay. All right. It's gonna, Daddy's going to let you pee pee. I'm sorry, Ira. I'm sorry, Daddy. Help me a second. Okay. All right. So. We've got some key areas for fine. We've got a little bit of that permanent marker. Oh my daddy's coming. We got a promise. Okay. Hold on, Ira. Hold on. I'm just kind of a little bit of water here. <laughs> really? We have it barricaded. And she's like pushing on it. Going, okay, you guys don't understand. I'm sorry, I know. Daddy will come here in a minute. All right, little twist here with the little bit brush. And a little bit of nuance back and forth with the black and then little bits of gray. So I'm going to go ahead and do a soft curve over the top of the eye. Then it kind of feels like a soft parenthesis here. And then let's make like a little eye like there. I'm going to go to a bit of a shadow with the knee. And let's tuck into a little bit of white to make that light, light gray. And we're going to work that in. You know, I know, honey. I know. I know. I will text him again. She is going now. There's daddy, he's coming. There's daddy. Will you call her? You can just yell for her. I, I, I can't. I just, Ira. You can just look the thing up and hang. I'm sorry, this is kind of a um, It's dry now? I don't care. Ira, come on. All right. Okay, so on this part of the eye here, we're going to just follow it. And this is that little space underneath. And this was provided in your trace there, too. So you really just want to be obedient to that trace and kind of go ahead and work in that little tiny part of the eye. And I'm going to reinforce a little bit over the top with some of this black. It's going to soften that. And then a little trick here to make the flash point of the eye, I use the wooden handle of the brush and I'm gonna dip right into the white like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just push straight forward. And there's my beautiful little flash point over the eyes. So that really has a lot of personality. And then same thing over here, we need a really light, light gray. 
to go ahead and make this little tiny line that's right here in the dark part of the arm. I'm going to go back in with some more black. You may get it. I can get it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then go back in with your black, your little twirl into that paint. And then I'm going to reinforce more of this black part of the eye here. And then get that. The white flash point going here on this side too. And barely catch that down. Lindsay's here. Lindsay, who? Uh, a little bit of white. And work into the eye here. And a little bit of soft, soft gray. And then little eyelashes that come in over the top. Morning. <laughs> I have friends and visitors through my class. I'm just doing an online class. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we're going to do a little line right here over the top. And again, just follow right over the top. A little bit of white. And fill in here. And again, a little bit of that soft gray. And then a little bit of that soft gray over here. Highlight over the top. You're basically just echoing over the top of the eye with that same. So act like you're putting on eye makeup. If you haven't done that before, well then. <laughs> follow my lead. Uh, so you basically just do a soft curve. And again, it's that parentheses shape. We've all had to do a parentheses. So it's that same shape like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and touch into a little bit of this brown. And just do tiny little touches to kind of flow into this little section where that hair kind of comes into it. And a little bit more of this white. We're going to push this in underneath. Yeah. And a little bit more of that white, that soft yellow color, and that cream. We're going to have like leave yeah. it here underneath the eye. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, a little bit more of that white. We're going to keep coming into that and just work in some of that hair quality all the way through here and crisscross that back and forth. And it's pretty light up here at the top. So we're just going to go ahead and continue working this in. Now I want to make sure and keep the nuance of this nose here in place. So what I'll have you do is take the same brush and we're going to darken up a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of water. And then with that dark brown here, do a little swirl into the paint like that. And then we'll go around the nose like this. Yeah. 
and work in just a little bit of shadow there and grab a little bit of that primer and magenta, a little pink, just barely touching it right there. And I'm gonna keep it kind of watery, a little bit of pink in here too. That primary magenta color. Mix in with a little bit of that brown. Now this little curved section in your trace is actually a lighter color, so I'm gonna leave that light. And I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that primary magenta and a little bit of this yellow here. And just do little pushes of this in here. Okay. And we'll that a bit because we need to go a little bit lighter. And we'll do a lot more of this real light, light. Like a cream. So a lot more white and with this lighter cream color. And we're gonna work this in right in here. And then because this is pretty light, I'm gonna take a little touch of white here. And we're just gonna barely go right around that little nose right there. I can in with that and kind of softly run that in. Right. And then let's go back in with a little bit more of this darker khaki color. I'm going to work that in right through here, a little bit of that shadow. And I go right again with the lighter color and I work that in, softly blend that in. Now I'll grab a little bit more of this brown. Just lightly work in this little shadow underneath. And then light pink again. So primary magenta, a little bit of white, makes a light pink. And then a line of that as we do. And a little bit of black. And then kind of pull down here, little tiny parentheses, pull down. A little more of that brown, just pull down. A little bit of shadow. Now I'm going to squeegee that out, add a little bit of white. And push that in, little tiny parentheses. A little bit longer here in the center. Yeah. We'll grab a little bit more of this light white in that yellow, a little bit of that brown to make a cream. And we're going to kind of work this into the side here. Just a little tiny touches. I've got to see that white just softly blend that in. And then a little bit more white. Just kind of softly blend this in here. We're going to try to always blend wet to wet paint. And that way you get that soft thing. It gets a nice look. Oh, so if it dries, you can re-wet. So I'm going to come back here with a little bit of brown, for example. And then I'll come right next to it with a little bit more white again and softly mix between the two. Okay, you get that soft blend mix happening.
I'm going to come back in here again. I'm going to have a little bit more of a soft back between these two. So I'm going to work the side of the brush over the top. They're still wet, so I'm softly blending between that light and the dark. Okay. Let's pull down a little bit. Pull down. And then you can always come back over the little black here and kind of mix that in so they soften mix together wet paint to wet paint. Okay, so we're just getting the basic neutral colors down first, and then here in a little bit we'll have some more fun with the brighter colors that will come in over the top. All right, so let's see here. I also need to put in a little bit. I don't know, my, my red is like MIA, I'm not very care. It's kind of fun. Okay. All right, Penny and Red. You want this line right here? Oh, looks like it's a uh, cadmium red. Yes, nice. And then the more primary mission plan. Primary yellow, I'm sorry. I meant to say primary yellow. You're like, what? Crazy? Okay, primary yellow. That's what I got here. All right, so we're gonna mix up more of that primary yellow with our brown. And remember our brown was orange and black. We need to mix up more. And so we're just gonna do a little bit brushing and like soft little touches here over the top. And you can add a little bit of white to that too. We're doing soft little hair strokes. That texture in. Primary yellow with that brown, get that light color up there. And then let's add little touches of white. Get my light. More white. So this crosses up here through the room. And then a little bit of that red too. Okay. When it mixes with all that, it gets kind of peachy and peachy. And then let's grab some more just pure orange. And then touch of that. Oh, 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 gosh, pattern in yellow. Yes. Look at some of those beautiful vibrant colors over the center here. Little tiny strokes. I'm touching in the cadmium yellow orange, a little bit of that cadmium red. Little tiny crisscrosses of that. So just kind of back and forth, a little wide. I love it. Okay. And that pattern in the yellow, you can see this little strokes in there. Just add more and more layers.
Let's grab more of that blue. Take that black. I'm going to push that in and then move here. I'm just kind of pushing on the side of the brush and quick little sweeping strokes. And then just the side of the brush, I'm going to put a sweep across, get some nice texture. Come back in with those flowers. Those are really just we're gonna create a lot of that with the palette on it here a little bit. The black a little bit here. Maybe a little bit more shadow on the side of the hair. And then a little bit of water. I've loosened up that hair in a soft little tiny curls of hair that come through. Mm -hmm. Takes up a little bit more. Primers come down to a little bit of white. I think this little strands of orange is right over the top of that. Of course, this is a very playful process, so it will change a little bit as we do this here. The flowers will go in there. There are plenty sweeps of that hair. We have a little bit of water to mix with that brown. Remember that little twist here into the paint. Let's not curl this there. Let's not curl this Okay, now let's do a dark charcoal gray, so more black, a little bit of white. Just, we're going to do these little horns here. So let's do underside here of that. And I'm going to switch over to the little buddy. The little buddy in that dark charcoal. Sweep that in here and a little bit of one. I think that was too much. I don't know if this paints here. I need to do that one more. Go ahead and just do a dark you know, of this charcoal gray to begin with. A little bit of water to have to just really flow immediately into that canvas. Yeah. 
Sim. Right, so we just did this, so it's nice and wet, which is wonderful. We're going to rinse out, and we're going to sweep in a little bit of this white right over the top while it's still wet. This top section here. And then just a nice little betty sized brush stroke of that white right over the top, and it's softly blended in with that darker charcoal. Same thing over here to the other side when it's still wet. So I'm sweeping at the very top. Let's see how soft we fade those two into each other. It's lighter up at the top here. And then going off just a little bit here, and I'm going to do little edges of that white on the edge of the brush, and we're just going to kind of A little sweep setting. Here, just like a little sweet horizontal. Vertical, horizontal. Vertical. And I'm going to go ahead and dry this brush off. And then with my more dry brush, I just feel a lot of sweet, but I thought this is softly going to all that. And soft little pull downs, almost like a little, I feel like a little bit of a curve, like a little parentheses, just right over the top here. Now brush right over the top, so I think we're in that. So if you're turning the hand more parallel to the canvas, and you want to barely touch, nice gentle hand. And wipe on the tin right here. And a little touch of one. Primary magenta. Just barely can touch right into the little accent right here. It's a little gentle sweep with that. I've got some kind of, I'm going to just do a little scooping touches of that primary magenta. Just going to touch that in there. Just you know, keep adding those little layers. Then we're going to water, a little bit more of that primary magenta. And sweep in a bit more of that here. Sweet second. The pull down gently. A little bit sort of pair with that primary magenta. Just kind of pull down with a full flatness on the side of that little body brush. Good. Are we getting really flat? Touches. Just going to gently pull that down into the texture of the hair. We're just making thick little sections of this. It's really bright, colorful. It's kind of another dimension to the hair here. Mm 
Let's have a little bit of that bright orange with that in. Softly blend that, it blends nicely with that primary magenta, so it's good to work that in at that time. And there's certain sections of that over here, too. Start to work that in a little cadmium orange. I'm sorry, cadmium yellow. A little of that, too. Let's take that off to the side. There's this little buddy. So you can use the flat side of the brush to get a bigger stroke of that hair coming in, or Hold it a little bit more on the line edge and just do tiny little dashes of hair that kind of come off to the side here. And get more of that pony yarn that it was off to the side. Sections of that. And more of that probably yellow and the white, that peachy quality up here. Again, that white, cadmium yellow. A little bit high on the density, it's blending nicely, it makes fun peachy colors. So I'm going to place this in here at the top, half of the back here. A little bit more in the white, Oops, a little bit more there. Pull it in. Let's touch it up here. Mm -hmm. Let's touch it up here. 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 Little tiny dashes of color. We're just building layer after layer. And as always, you can always rewind a little bit, pause. We have a hard time catching up. And something to go over again and watch my hand move and do something. Let's go always do that during these classes. Work back in a little more that brown, a little more that black. Sweep that in. Little tiny dashes of that blackish brown. Put back in the shadow of the face here again. Mm -hmm. Blackish brown. Little tiny for like strokes like this, he's like a letter accent. The parentheses. Let's get that. Let's come in with a little bit more white and yellow. And then we'll work that back in over the top of the nose here. Get little flicks. It feels like the parentheses just over and over again. This is that yellow and that white. Finally, yellow and white. Just lots of that kind of just back and forth. Well, and you guys come back and play with darker colors too and kind of have that and then do another little 
my prayers under the top. Cross and strokes. Again, there's a lot of layers in this. And take a little touch of this primary side of the moon. A little touch there. Put that with it to lighten it up. Touch of the finger. Let's make touch of that blue here. I'm going to a little bit of that blue here too. So primary sign blue, a little bit of that white mixed in with it. Just little tiny touches in here. I want to have a little bit of a water one here. I'm going to show you how to do that too. So I'm going to take my little belly brush and we're just going to leave it kind of full, the belly of the brush with water. And then I'm going to just touch into this paint here, let it run down, a little bit of pressure. Let it run down. That makes sure. It's like some of those paint drips. Wow. <laughs> Come on, hurry. Good enough. Okay, and all right. I'm going to start to make some flowers now. I'm going to grab some violet here. Put this over here by the blue to keep it safe. So I'm going to take a little bit of this primary magenta we had out earlier with the violet and a little bit of white. Let's push this down into these flowers, just little short strokes with a little buddy brush to go into that shape there. More white, it kind of gets that lavender look. Mm -hmm. A few little touches of lavender. All three out here too, because they're just kind of little touches that happen here and there. And our sweet little cow. It's a very colorful cow. It just kind of feels like you do little sections of fur, but we're just adding a lot more color here. And then let's do another colors here. So we'll do Finer magenta with the white. Let's grab a little more of that. And some of that pink. Little short brush strokes to make those petals. Grab some of that cadmium red. We're going to do that over here. Again, just little buddy and short strokes of those petals. And grab a little bit more of that cadmium red. We'll do that here. And then I'm going to grab some more of that cadmium yellow with this. The short abstract strokes there. Just really thin abstract colors. We're going to brighten this up more yellow, more cadmium yellow. And then four little strokes here and there. Mm 
he was in a was that was that there was that was that happening at all? Right, so we're here. So this is more about primary yellow and the white. I'm just kind of pushing that in again, little tiny strokes of that. Let's go back in a little bit more of the violet, a little bit of white, that violet. I do a little flower here. Flower here. You can add more flowers to this too. And then let's grab some of that blue with the violet. That's pretty. Touch of that here and there. As you take the brush all the way around, it's little tiny pushes with the brush. And then Here and then we have that violet flower. Well, we're going to go ahead and do it here. I'm sorry, but I'm having a red over the top. And short little strokes here. And then let's go back to that white and blue. Here. I don't know, a little bit more of this texture here with the fur. Just kind of corner. And then you've got some centers of your flowers that you can do with bright yellow or even a black. It was called a pen. So your bright yellow center there. And then let's do a little bit of orange with this here. We'll touch. Let's grab some bright yellow for the little center of the flower here. And there. And we're going to grab a little bit of this black and do a little center of the flower there in our black. We can change it up a little bit. And let's go bright down here with more orange. And call me the arrow. Little pushes. I'm going to go with black right in the middle. I'm going to mix up a little bit of green in here too, because we have the green leaves that are flowing through here. So we have our bright yellow green, and we push a little bit of that off to the side. And let's do a little bit of viridian here too. All right, so first some bright yellow green, and we're going to add a little yellow to that. I'm going to just do a little fishes with our little buddy brush right over the top. It just looks like a little tiny leaf. Do a few little pushes of our leaves, just kind of just being fine, a little pushes there, abstraction.
Yeah, let's do a little, like I said, I have a few soft touches, but then we don't want it to have those be too bright. So I'm going to come back in and kind of soften this up with our white, our cream, and brown, and I'm going to kind of soften it up just a tad. Just take that to the cream a little bit. I'm going to Let me make a little bit more green. It's so a black and orange. It's my green. Softly look that in over that color. Let's do it just a little bit. We just have more hints of color happening. A little light with that lighter yellow. Group that in. And white Group that in. All right, then we can do more water runs if we want to. So I've got a little bit of water. And let's see, let's do a little bit, let's do a little dollop here of that hot pink, which is that primary magenta. And we'll get that wet. So now, little buddies, nice and full of water. I'm going to push them into that. Let that hit that and then just let it roll off. Put that onto that wet paint and let it roll down. And it's going to take that color with it and it will travel with that color down the canvas. Fun, fun. Okay. Yeah, and I come up with a little more white and just a little body and just kind of feather the white again over the top. Back and forth here. So chunky sections of the white. This is little buddy brush, which you can take it back and forth. And so we're going to softly paint it a little bit of that hair over the top. And just a little bit more red in that flower. And then we've got a red here, a little flower that comes in. I'm going to put my little bit brush in 
and a little bit of water. And I'm just going to twist into my lap right about here. And just kind of make this little eye just kind of softly round out that little bit of black there. All right, and we also have our palette knife that we can use for really fine texture over the top. So I'm going to do just a little bit of some Bacania white. I've got it right there on the bottom here of our palette knife. And we're just going to kind of push and drag. Push and drag. I picked up a little bit of some extra color. I'm going to get a clean plate. I don't really mind the extra color, but I actually want like this one. I'm just going to continue working a little bit more white. Right, let's get full coverage on the flat side of this now. You can see what neat little textures it makes. Here it is. I'm going to kind of push this back and forth now. Nice drag gives it some nice color. Grab some primary cyan blue. We're going to go ahead and work in a little bit more of this. Light blue over the top. So I'm going to mix these two together. And then you can just by firm pressure and work that over the top there. A lot more white. You can saw that, you got that light blue. And just kind of spread and lightly drag that across. It just makes this really fine texture over the top. And if you want it to be more like cloud cover, of course, you can just make it a lot more of that pure white right over the top. So I cleaned off my palette knife and I'm going to come in with just pure white. So we're going to softly drag that over the top. Yeah, that kind of just looks like this fine abstracted blue clouds that comes in. Violently dragged, just barely touch. And you can just kind of play with those fine little textures that emerge. And then fun little bits that you can do here in the pile as well. Like you can push into this little bit, like at the corner of the brush, and just do a little tiny, just barely kind of lightly drag the palette knife with a little bit of that color over that surface area, which is really fun. Just light little touches of that adds some really nice texture. And like in the center, if you want some of those warmer tones, you can do some of that too. I'm going to grab some of this white and that creamy color. Like that on the tip there, so you can kind of do a nice little bit of texture with these lighter tones. You just kind of barely lightly touch and then drag. You get nice texture over the center there that's really fun. And you can just barely take the tip and kind of just push in little bits of that texture there too. It's also fun to do with your little bits of green for that, those leaves there. So like you could do a little touch there. There's some viridian. What's that paint color? Right there, you can do a little touch. 
And some of that here too. little rags and again just hold it parallel to the canvas lightly touch make sure you've got a nice dollop of it on this flat side and just kind of gentle little pulls and lift off with a light hand and then of course you can also change out your napkins too and these get a little bit dirty it does get i use up a lot of you know, napkins or rags and i'm doing palette knife work here I'll come back in with more quick little drags. It's white. And you can turn it a little bit. And work into your design that way too. And then on your horns here. You can also do some fun little drags on there too. So you've got a little bit of white in here and we're gonna go ahead and just do a flat little drag on the horn. Try to get into position. A little drag over the top, just some nice little texture. And we'll do a little pull here too. Let's see. Let's do a little bit more quick with these eyes on it up here. And then I look I'm like, hmm. All right, so a little bit brush, just do a little twirl here into this black. And we're going to do a little curve over here at the top and just. Get some eyelash, put a little eyelash do tank right in here. And then we're going to reinforce that with a little bit of that white, kind of softly blend into. A little bit of water. Very light, light gray. We'll curl there and we've got a little bit more water. And we'll twirl at a nice fine point. And we can see a little bit more of these eyelashes. I'm going to pull back into the black. And while it's still wet, we're going to softly blend those two. Okay. And then I'm going to do a few more little wispy hairs with the white, yellow, and that brown. So those all mixed together. Have a little more water in there, so we're going to thin that out. And more water. A little, we're going to start doing some little twirls in here. So twirl into the paint like that. And then little twirls here on your ear. And then twirl out little fan ears, little ear ears, and just kind of curve those around. Soft twirls here. And we'll go this wide again. Yeah, you know, climb it over the top.
So again, a lot of layers and blending back and forth. That's orange. You could play on this for a long time. And long time. <laughs> so at some point you have to go, well, I think we're good. All right, so this little cow is really beautiful. Let's see, I'm going to add a few more little touches of just little touches of uh, color, you know, just to come out without my meridian. And I'll do just little touches with my little bit brush. Okay. All right. Yay, it's so pretty. All right, so that is our beautiful little boho highland cow. Looks gorgeous. And lots of fun to be had with the palette knife, the water drips, and you can continue to have more fun with that too. So I love it, so cute, very fun, very creative, very bright and beautiful. So y'all have fun with this and please know that all the supplies that you need are on our website at tipsyartist.com. And again, we just love hanging with y'all and y'all have a beautiful rest of the day. Very peaceful here today. And we just love y'all so much and have a gorgeous, gorgeous day. See you soon. Toodles.